I don't want to write subliners. When you leave and you are the only car in the parking lot. Like I'm trying to do what's best for my students and I know that I have to look out for me too, but it's just, it's hard because I just feel like that doesn't matter as much as like making sure that they get what they need. Good morning, YouTube. Today is hat day. So we've been having spirit days on like Mondays for the month of October. And for me, that is just an excuse to not do my hair, but I will fully take my school up on that option. I feel like I had a pretty productive weekend. I got two videos edited, which I feel like it's been forever since I've been able to do that. I edited my birthday vlog and got that posted. And I edited my vlog from last week and got that posted. I also got a product up on TPT, which that has not happened in a very, very long time. I posted my conference form. So those are ready to go. Hallelujah, I feel good about that. And then I got a little bit of lesson planning last night done. That was a weird way to word that. I got lesson planning done last night. Not as much as I had wanted, but I'm actually gonna be trying math like groups for the first time in my exploratory class. Most of our math instruction is like whole group, which is great for my higher learners, but some of my lower learners, like it just does not work because I have to be able to pull them in small group to reteach. So I'm gonna try small groups. I'm gonna have students independently doing like task cards around the room and then I'm gonna have two like small groups working with the teacher. I'm gonna have some kids and Bud, my TA is gonna have some kids. So fingers crossed that it actually goes well. I need to go get coffee and then I need to be as productive as possible during my like extra planning time this morning and my actual planning time because I have a lot of stuff to get done. Good morning, how can I have you? Good morning, can I get a medium iced vanilla latte please? Yeah. That'll be it. Thank you. So for math groups today, I wanted to show you what I am doing. These are from, I think it's Blair Turner's Math Centers, maybe? I don't know, I will link whatever it's from in the description box. But I printed off these Multiplication Mania game boards. So this one is board C, and this one has one digit by three digit multiplication. So my students working with Bud will be practicing this. So this is like the directions and the spinner, and then I have two game boards, and then I have the answer key, so they have to check their answer with her. And then I also printed off game boards D, which is one digit by four digit multiplication. That's what I'm gonna be working on with my group. And then my students who are working independently are going to do these test cards around the room. They're gonna use the partial product strategy and record it on the recording sheet. I honestly made these up like super, super quick last night. I was trying to find task cards on TPT and I could not find exactly what I wanted. And I'm really particular, like some of them have like cute borders and stuff, but I'm like, is that really necessary? Sometimes I feel like it's distracting. So I wanted just very simple cards so I made these up honestly I had plans when I was in second grade to make like task cards for all of the standards um, but make very like differentiated ones so even within the same standard like this having like all different kinds of like multiplication so I obviously never did that for second grade so I think I'm gonna do it for fourth grade it's probably gonna take me like all year to get them done but that's okay like I'll have them for next year but if this is something you guys are interested in just like let me know or let me know like something specific that you want for task cards that you find like difficult to come across on the internet. And then I'm using my rotation boards to actually run the centers. I will link this for you in the description box. Even though my students aren't rotating, they're just gonna each do like one station. I'm still using this to help divide them. So I have three groups and then I just use the two rotation one. So over here, I just put like their group name. So pink group, they're on the front carpet. Green group is around the room and blue group is at the back table. I'm gonna list the student names here. And then over here, I have the activity that they're doing. And for the timer, because this is actually in Google, Google Slides, I just took my rotation boards and opened them up in Google Slides, and then I did have to re-import this timer, but then when I present it, it will actually start on its own, counting down, and we're gonna spend about 20 minutes doing this. So I'm gonna go through now and add my student names. So I got food this morning, which the nice thing is, because I started like a new train, I don't have to do anything, I just get to enjoy this. So looks like there's a lot of candy, like some Kit Kats, although I'm pretty sure chocolate is like the last thing that I need right now. Ooh, Reese's. Yeah, this is gonna happen at lunchtime. There is a mini pumpkin and that's really cute. There are these pins which came from the Target dollar spot. It's really sad that I know that. This is like the little sign that I'll put outside my door to say that I've been booed. These are like gel clings which this is actually really good. I can put this on the window of my door because I don't have any decorations right now. And then there's this like chalkboard sign and it has like orange glitter on the side so that's really cute. And then there are these like necklaces which I can wear during Halloween time. So I had Bud, my TA, make copy 
copies this morning. So I'm gonna go through, binder clip all of these, and then file them away in all of my drawers. It is now after school. I did not really vlog during my planning time because I was focusing on getting as much grading done as possible because I had a lot of students turn things into me this morning because I gave it to their parents during the conference to do over the weekend. And then during lunch, I actually had a lunch bunch. So my homeroom class, because we got all new seats, I took the group that had the most number of points. They ate lunch with me. Tomorrow, I'm gonna do my block one group that had the most points. And then on Wednesday, I will do my block two group that had the most points. So it's gonna be a busy week with lots of lunch bunches. That's okay. I enjoy spending that like smaller group time with them it's after school I have a lot more grading to do just things from today that my students turned in and all that good stuff so I'm gonna work on getting that done and then I have a conference I think at 5 15 originally was supposed to be at 6 and then she emailed me yeah it's at 5 15 so I'm gonna get that done with and then I'm gonna head home for the day life update it is now 6 30 I've graded everything with the exception of pre-assessments that my block 2 did today so I think I'm just gonna wait and do those like tomorrow morning because I don't I've looked over them enough that like I know who gets it and who doesn't, but I'm actually going to go through and like do all the data and put it in my data chart and all that tomorrow because I'm not staying any later. I'm gonna get out of here. I do have to work on lesson plans for tomorrow at home tonight, but other than that, I am done. Good morning, YouTube. Okay, what is this hair doing? I had a pretty productive night last night, or at least I feel like I did. I did end up grading those pre-assessments for my Black 2 kids, and I got that data all done, which I feel really good about. I have a couple of kids who like didn't finish, so I have to give those back to them, but I need that for Wednesday, so if I can get that all done today, that will be great. I got my lesson plans done for today, but I'm finding it hard to get like anything else done. Like, I can't work on stuff for TPT. I can't edit. Like, I'm just exhausted, and I feel like by the time I finish all of that, it's like 10 o'clock and I'm like, okay, I'm just done. Like I'm checked out for the day. I'm just gonna lay here. I did do a like charcoal face mask and it hurt. It hurt more than I thought it would to like take it off and maybe I didn't put it on thick enough. I don't know, but it was really funny because I just put it like around my nose and then on my chin and I turned around and I wanted Billy to do it with me and he had put it on his entire face. So I'm like, oh, that's gonna hurt so bad when you take it off. But yeah, I'm trying to like make sure each day I do like a little thing for myself, um, something to help me relax. I know I get coffee every morning, so that's kind of doing something for myself every day, but whatever. That's really just for my sanity. And then I have to do something to like motivate me to get my work done. So I'm gonna head to school. I have a MIT meeting this morning, and then I'm gonna miss my team planning because I have to go to that. And then tomorrow we have a CDM meeting, and then we have a STIT meeting one of these days. I don't know, so many meetings, y'all. Like, I feel like as a teacher, all you do is go to meetings, grade stuff, and then try to teach kids in between. <laughs> Good morning, how may I help you? Good morning, can I get a large ice pumpkin latte, please? That'd be all. That'll be it. 4.23. Thank you. So I ordered these Avery Table of Contents dividers off of Amazon and they came last night. I got two packs. I currently have a pack in my homeroom student data binder. That's where I have all of their like emergency papers and things like that. But I also wanted to organize my block one and my block two using these dividers, especially now that I'm starting to make copies of like tests and quizzes and things. Plus I have like conference forms and everything else. I wanna go ahead and get those organized. So I'm going to put these into the data binders, probably not until after school because I don't really have time right now. I'd rather go over my plans, but I'm actually looking forward to that. I know it sounds really weird, but I love organizing stuff. And I was given another apple this morning by one of my homeroom students. He actually said he picked it himself, which is awesome. So I will enjoy this during my lunch today. It is now my planning time. I totally goofed this morning. I did not have that meeting. It's not until next Tuesday. So I was able to meet with my team, which was nice. I went ahead and got everything laid out that I need for today. So I'm gonna sit and like grade a couple things. I need to go run to the bathroom. I also need to write sub plans because I'm out tomorrow for a PD, so it's probably gonna be a long day today. It is now after school, it's about 4.10. I just spent a couple of minutes making a to-do list so that hopefully I can stay focused and be as productive as possible this afternoon. So I need to organize my block one and two student data binders with these dividers that I showed you earlier. I need to attach a new shelf. So in one of my cabinets, and I'll show you guys that in a minute, um, I have an extra shelf, but I don't have any of these like plastic things that actually hold the shelf. So I 
I ordered these off of Amazon and I'm like 90% sure that they're the right ones. I honestly just kind of guessed, but I'm gonna put up that shelf and kind of finish organizing that cabinet. And then I need to grade just a couple of papers that I have from today. That shouldn't take me long at all. And then I need to write sub plans for tomorrow since I am out for a math PD. Okay, so sympathize with me for a minute. Please tell me I'm not the only person who has this problem. You know, I made my to-do list. I organized those student data binders like there was no tomorrow. I attached the new shelf and rearranged stuff in there, although I have to order more clips because I didn't realize I have two extra shelves. So I'm gonna order more clips so that I can put the other one in there. But still, I got that done and I graded papers. And the only thing left is subplans. And I'm just sitting here and I'm like, I don't wanna write subplans. I don't like writing subplans. And I even have like my nifty little subplan template and I shouldn't mind it, but I do. I just hate writing subplans. So I'm sitting here just like procrastinating in every way possible. Like I walked out of my team teacher's rooms, I'm like talking to them and I just don't want to write subplans. So someone come write them for me, please. I know I sound pathetic. Like this is really not a big deal and I'm just being a baby, but I just don't feel like writing subplans. Just, oh, you know, like two hours later, I finally am all set up for my sub. Honestly, it's partially my fault because I haven't really made my like sub binder for this year. I know, horrible teacher moment, but let's be real. Like we all have things that we just slack on and I honestly just haven't gotten to it. So I had to type a lot of the procedures and stuff into my actual sub plan. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I have it set up. Right here are my actual sub plans. These are my sub plan templates. They are editable. I have them in my TPT store and I will link them for you down below. Actually, you guys, it is an editable PowerPoint document, but I uploaded it to my Google Drive and then I just opened it as Google Slides, which let me show you how to do that. I put this into my drive and then I just double click on it and up here open with, I go to Google Slides. Now when you open this with Google Slides, because I had um, like tables, they're a blue color in the background, but I actually just edited that and I put in text boxes instead. So these, I literally just took them, deleted them, and then I just inserted text text boxes and typed my text in there. But this template will work in Google Slides. And honestly, I really, really liked it. Like just having it on here because then worst come to worst, if I ever have these sub plans and let's say I can't make it into school. Now I do have emergency sub plans, so this probably wouldn't happen. But if it did, I could actually just send this to one of my team teachers and then they could print it out for me. Yeah, I typed up all of my plans for the day. It is like five pages long. It's kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. But I like to be very, very thorough. So then the next page I have is all about emergency procedures. Normally I would put this in my sub binder, but again, I haven't done that yet. So I just printed out this one page and put it there. The next page is a student roster for all of my blocks followed by a dismissal list. So I'm not going to show you those, but underneath I do have a, how was your day? So they, so they can fill out well-behaved students, not behaved students, visitors, phone calls, and any notes. And then underneath, I'm not going to show you, but I just have my seating chart for homeroom, block one and block two two. And then back here, I have a Reese's and it just says for your enjoyment. Then I have laid out my math copies. So I labeled them math block one, math block two, and then math early finishers. They're mostly for my block one, but any students can use them. I don't really care. So I just put early finishers on there. Then I have social studies, which these are both for block one and block two. So I just labeled those. I have my folder and I labeled it folder for attendance and notes from home. Then I have slides. So usually these are the slides that I project on the board. Board. I just printed out copies so they can actually put them under the document camera and still project them. So I labeled the projector remote and I actually went through, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy. I went through each slide and I actually labeled like what time they need to display it. So the morning work slide, display from 8.55 to 9.15, block one, display at 10.35, block two, display at 1.25, and then dear time, I'm just blocking student names, but they will display this from 3.20 to 3.35. And then those blue papers over there are just papers to go home at the end of the day 
today. I do have a sticky note on those as well, but I turned some over because they have student names. So I think I'm as organized as I can be at this point. It's not the greatest, and honestly, I feel bad that I don't have my actual sub binder, but come to think of it, I honestly don't think a lot of subs even read the sub binder. So I feel like I have, you know, all of my plans. I have a student roster. I have an emergency procedures list. I have dismissal list. I have pretty much everything they could possibly need. Worst come to worst, I can always ask one of my team teachers if they need help. And on that note, it is 8.30. I had no idea I was going to stay this late. I was only hoping to stay until like 7, maybe 7.30, but it took a lot longer than I thought to get all that ready. So I'm going to like rush out of here, go home. Good news is I don't have anything that I have to get done tonight when I get home. So I'm going to go eat, watch Jeopardy, and then just relax for the night. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog tomorrow because I am going to be in PD all day. Good news is I'm with my team teacher, so I'm not by myself, but I just don't know how much I will actually be able to vlog, but I will catch up with you guys sometime tomorrow. When you leave and you are the only car in the parking lot. Good morning, YouTube. So it is 7.30. Today, I am not going to school. I'm going to a community college, kind of by like BWI Airport, if any of you guys know where that is. I am going to a fourth grade math single subject cohort. So it's basically for teachers of the advanced math class. I don't really know what all we're doing. Um, I know we had to give a pre-assessment to our students on Monday on like fractions, and I know we're analyzing that for like data and stuff, but I don't really know what else this is all about. So I will find out. I am gonna treat myself to Chick-fil-A this morning because it doesn't start until 8.30. So I have an hour to get there and it's only about a 25 minute drive. So I should have plenty of time. I'm gonna get Chick-fil-A and then maybe if I get there early, I'll have time to like sit in my car and enjoy it. I'm gonna get one of their frozen coffees, which I love. Last night, it was tiring because I didn't get home until nine o'clock and by the time I ate dinner, it was like 10 o'clock. But the good thing was I didn't have to do anything else. So when I finished eating, like I just went up and I got in bed and that was really nice. So it stunk having to stay at school until 8.30, but at the same time, it was nice like getting home and not having to think about school at all. So I'm gonna go get my coffee and my Chick-fil-A and then I'll catch up with you guys later on. Hi, can I get a number two meal with a frozen coffee, please? Anything else for you today? That'll be it. Would you like any kind of pasta? No, thank you. And can I have your name? Michelle. Hey, it's Michelle. Your total is 767, and if you can follow the red card to your right, it'll be as much as the window. Thank you. So I won a book, which I usually never win stuff. Like whenever they do drawings for prizes and things, I just don't even pay attention because I'm like, I never win. But they pulled my name out second. I got to pick out from a table. So I picked this book, Cranium Crackers. It's like critical thinking activities um, for higher level learners and just ways to like challenge them for like gifted and talented students. And it actually worked out well because like my team teacher was there with me. So then we'll be able to share this book. So that was a very nice silver lining today. And there's a really bad glare on my glasses. So I'm just gonna take those off. We did get out early. We we are supposed to end at 3.30 and it's three o'clock and we are done, hallelujah. And when my team teacher and I went to lunch, I forgot to bring my camera and vlog it, but we just went to Jersey Mike's. We are actually at a like community college that's around here and it's right next to a mall. So we went over and we got Jersey Mike's and I saw a Dollar Tree. So I think I'm gonna go over there, even though I have a million and a half sandwich containers because I'm now using them to also store my fraction tiles. I need a couple more. So I'm gonna go just like check and I honestly haven't gone to Dollar Tree in quite some time. So I'm gonna go just look around I'm gonna go to the post office because usually I struggle to get there before it closes And then I think I'm gonna go home and like start working on plans and stuff for tomorrow Because Billy and I are gonna meet at the gym, but that's not gonna be until like 7 15 ish So I should have some extra time, which is really nice. Maybe that means I won't have to be working as late tonight So this would be my luck I finally find a sandwich container and it's missing the clip on this side and you better believe I'm looking through the entire store trying to find it
Good morning, YouTube. Today is one of those days where I just really don't care how I look. I'm feeling so tired lately, and I don't know why, because the past two nights, I've gone to bed much earlier than I normally do. By like 10, 30, 10, 45, I'm in bed and trying to go to sleep. I've been falling asleep really quickly because I'm so tired, but yet I sleep in as late as possible. This morning, I got up at seven, quickly showered, put my wet hair back into a bun, didn't put makeup on. I just can't, like, I'm just so tired. So maybe it's like catching up to me from that day of staying really late and doing sub plans. I don't know. But I do have really, really good news. Billy got a job and I know he already got a job and I told you guys that, but he got like a full-time job which much, with much better pay and benefits and all that. He has been working at a political consulting firm in DC, which is what he wants to do. Like obviously he wants to work a political job and specifically like he wants to work for a consulting firm, but he had a temporary job. So it was only through December. The pay was not good at all. Like he was basically making minimum wage he was commuting an hour there and an hour back and it just wasn't working out and we knew that so ironically I told you guys that he had interviewed with State Farm and all that well they didn't hire him but apparently the person they did hire like ended up leaving so they called him back like last week he went in for an interview on Monday and then he got the call yesterday that he did get the job so even though it's not political and it's not really what he wants to do long term a it is much closer to where we live so it'll only be like a 15 20 minute commute rather than an hour B it is much better pay and see he can do this while he works on getting his master's and then that will make him more qualified for some of the jobs in DC but I need to head to school because I have to fill out a conference form I do have a conference this morning at 8 30 for a student who was not like the family was out of town last week what just happened to my place so I have the conference this morning I'm gonna go get coffee get to school do that and then I'll catch up with you guys at like lunchtime I don't have cultural arts today unfortunately Hello, good morning, can I have you? Hi, can I get a medium iced coffee with the French vanilla swirl and cream, please? Okay, anything else? That'll be it. So this is the aftermath from my substitute. Honestly, pretty good. Like, I'm really, really happy that everything's in a pile. That makes it easy for me. No idea why there's a random dry erase board there, but that's okay. And I looked in my turn-in bins, and actually all of my papers are, like, clipped together, even with the correct color clip. So I don't know how that happened, but that's awesome. And that put me in a good mood for the day. This is what my students are going to work on today. So this morning, we have chorus. So a lot of students will be leaving, and then we're going to have our study hall time because we don't actually have, like, cultural arts like I don't have plenty of time while my students are doing their study hall I've got to pull kids to F and P which you guys apparently some people don't know what I'm saying F and P, which is Faunus and Pinnell Benchmark Assessment System. It's a way to assess student reading. I'm gonna do that. Then when core students come back, we are gonna take RSA, which is a reading skills assessment. And then I'm gonna be F and P for the rest of the day. So this is what our students are gonna be working on. This was given to us by the ELA teachers. And since we're gonna be in homeroom classes, everyone's just gonna be working on the same thing. So I've got about a half an hour to fill out my parent-teacher conference report. So this is in my TPT store. If you are interested, it's editable. You can edit. The the grades and I have different numbers of like rows and you can edit the work habits and behaviors. I do think I'm gonna go back and make some of these other parts editable as well. But right now, if you do purchase this and I'll link it for you in the description, you can edit the grades, work habits, behavior, and then I'll work on getting the rest of it editable as well because I've already had a couple requests for that. Good news, it is lunchtime. The morning has actually gone really well. My conference this morning went amazing and then all morning my students have been working on RSA. So the reading skills assessment, it's on the computer, so I've been able to get like some pages and stuff organized like I've had to go around and answer some questions and like helping them get on to the computer and all that but overall it went really well this afternoon they're gonna work on assignments for ELA and I'm gonna be bass testing I did get two kids done this morning during study hall I'm sorry I'm brain dead right now I'm really really tired I did get two kids done for bass or FMP this morning during study hall so that's good I'm hoping I can get through three or four this afternoon maybe because we don't have that much longer that we could keep working on it but I'm gonna enjoy my lunch and I'll catch up with you guys at the end of the day so it is already like five o'clock which is partially my fault because I was in my team teachers room after school and we were helping her like arrange her desk and I've got nothing done but I'm actually gonna get out of here because Billy left work early because he had to go to State Farm to do something so we're gonna meet at the gym at 
5.15 instead of 7.15, which is gonna be really nice. But that means I'm gonna have to do a lot of grading at home. I tried to get some grading done while my students were working on their tests this morning, but because I had a sub yesterday and my students did a lot of like book work and they did a quiz, that means I have a lot of grading to get done. So I'm gonna bring it home with me. If I don't get to it, like it's not the end of the world, but I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here because it's like 4.50. I need to get to the gym and get changed. So it was a very fast day. Um, I did get through a lot of FMP. I got through seven students. So I now have 12 done, which is good enough, I think for now. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. I know I sound tired. It's because I am. Okay, just kidding. Um, Billy just texted me and said that we need to push it back to 5.30. So I'm gonna show you some notes and things that my students gave me today because they took the assessment this morning. When they finished, they had time to either like read or draw. And this girl made me, there's like an entire book. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, but I just saw this note on the back. It's so sweet. It says, hi, Miss Ray. I just wanted to say I'm really lucky to have a teacher like you. Like seriously, all the feels right now. And then this one that says, Miss Ray, dear Miss Ray, you are the best. I really wish you were my teacher because this girl's in just my homeroom. I don't get to actually teach her. And it says, you are nice, funny, really funny, really nice, pretty, really pretty. And every comment in the world, I hope you like my drawing. And then it says, P.S. Don't tell Miss Lee or Miss Y. <laughs> and then this one over here, happy Halloween. And it, they put from your fave for its student, which I always tell them they're all my favorite students, which is completely true. Good morning, YouTube. I had a miserable, miserable night last night. And it's not very often that I say that. But last night, um, first of all, before I left school, I, I'm gonna gross you guys out and I'm not trying to, but like, just so you know what I kind of went through. So I'll just put it this way. I had to go to the bathroom a lot last night and it happened first before I left school. And then it happened like when I left the gym and then it happened like 15 more times before I went to bed. And it was really bad and I was like, okay, whatever. Like finally by 11 o'clock, like I was good. <laughs> I didn't have to go to the bathroom anymore. I was like, okay, I think it's passed. So I go to bed, woke up at 3 a.m. and threw up literally 12 times. Um, and I drank like water because I'm like, I'm gonna be very dehydrated. I have nothing left in my system. Like it got to a point where I was just trying to throw up and there was nothing like to even come out. And like I drank water and then five minutes later threw up all the water. Like I can't keep anything down. And I know you guys are gonna be like, why didn't you take a sub? You shouldn't be there if you're sick. And I know that, but like when it's 3 a.m., I don't wanna sit there and write sub plans. Plus I'm trying to get in all the curriculum before the test and like with my block one like I literally don't have any time to spare plus I have to meet with my right start advisor this morning plus I have to meet with my room parents this afternoon so it's like I just can't take off and I hate that I hate that about teaching like you can sit there and be throwing up and like not take a sub because it's that much of an inconvenience to you and I don't know why I'm like starting to cry I'm just I don't feel good my throat like burns from it and ugh. <laughs> like I want to go get a cold like frozen coffee because I want some something for my throat but at the same time like I know that's probably not good for me but like nothing is good for me right now like I can't keep anything down <sighs> but it's already like 7 30 you can tell I put a lot of uh, effort in my parents this morning I'm gonna go get on the road I guess I'm gonna go to Dunkin Donuts I don't know I'll figure it out between here and there so I ended up just going to a gas station I got myself a Gatorade because I know I'm gonna be really dehydrated I got some Cheerios that I can try to snack on this morning and I got a soup I wanted to get a banana because I know potassium is good Good, but they didn't have any like fresh fruit or anything so this is gonna have to do so I think the highlight of my day so far was a student bringing me homemade strawberry jam all right it is my planning time and I had team planning because my team teacher and I didn't get a chance to do it Wednesday and I'm like in really rough shape right now I'm also starting to get a migraine and I get really bad like auras with it where I can't really see so right now like this side of my vision I literally can't even see so I don't know how I'm gonna survive through today I did eat Cheerios um, um, and my stomach feels like okay right now, but I feel like I'm like still on the verge of feeling like I'm gonna be sick And I'm just <laughs> I'm so done with today. It is now lunchtime as you can tell I've been crying <laughs> It's like I don't know why like I'm just when we first switched and my black one students came in like I just started crying Like I couldn't even control it and then when I dropped my students off at lunch and came back Like I just and I, th I think it's because I just don't feel good Like I literally think it's just because I feel that bad and like I'm shaky. I've drank like a 
little bit of my Gatorade, but I don't want to like overdo it because I don't want to get sick again. The Cheerios did stay down, so that's good, but I just can't really eat anything for lunch. I'm going to try to eat some like popcorn, like something with salt to help me retain more water, but yeah, I'm not doing great. Um, I told you I was like getting a migraine. I had like the auras where I couldn't see, but I ended up getting like the actual migraine and it's mostly gone now. Honestly, I think it's from being dehydrated because everything I went through last night and then in the middle of the night, like there's just nothing left in my body. The day is halfway over. I know like in hindsight, like I shouldn't have been here today. And like, I know that, but at the same time at 3 a.m., like I didn't want to sit there and write sub plans and I didn't want to just use like emergency plans that are like basically busy work. And I didn't want to give that to my students because we have so much that we have to fit in before the upcoming assessment in another like week, week and a half. So I don't know. It's a catch 22. Like I know I probably shouldn't be here and I know people are going to yell at me for it, but like I'm trying to do what's best for my students. And I know that I have to look out for me too, but it's just, it's hard. Cause I just feel like that doesn't matter as much as like making sure that they get what they need. So I'm going to go keep my fingers crossed for the afternoon. It is after school. As you can see, my desk is a hot mess. Like I just have papers everywhere. So for lunch, I ate like half a bag of popcorn. I did have soup, but I just could not stomach it. So I guess I'm going to take it home and maybe try to eat it tonight. I am feeling a little bit better. Like I don't feel as just downright horrible because my migraine went away, but I definitely don't feel good. So I'm going to stay for just a little bit, try to get some stuff cleaned up. So I gave this to one of my girls in my black one. This was like a challenge for her and she had to come up with as many different multiplication sentences that would equal 2,280 as she could. And I promised her I would give her a candy corn for each one that she came up with. And I am so impressed. Like look at some of these. She used like fractions. So one eighth times 18,240, one thirty second times 72,960. Like I was just so impressed. So I have her candy corn all counted out and bagged for her. She found 42 different equations that worked. So I'm going to give her 42 candy corn on Monday. Okay. My team teachers are now yelling at me to go home. It's like 4.30ish, I think. I'm gonna get out of here. Now, I need some feedback from you guys. You will notice I didn't really include any like mail haul in this video. I've kind of gotten conflicting um, opinions from people. Some people really like to see it, some people don't because I know it does take up a lot of the video. So give me some feedback down below. Do you want to see it? Do you not wanna see it? Would you rather see it in like a separate video? Like maybe, I don't know, once a month I post like a video that's all just like mail stuff but I want feedback because I do want to give you guys what you want to see and if you want to see it like I can record that for another video but I don't think I'm going to keep including it in my vlogs because it does tend to like weigh them down and, and it takes up a lot of time so just give me some feedback let me know or if you've ever gone through something like I did today where I had some kind of like stomach flu and still had to go through school and then ended up getting a migraine leave a comment let me know make me feel better um yeah, I do feel okay right now but I don't feel good at all like it has not gone away and it should be an interesting night so I'm gonna end it here if you enjoyed this video or if you feel bad for me for being at school today give the video a thumbs up it helps out this video and it helps it to be able to reach more teachers don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you don't miss any future videos as always thank you for watching I love you all so so much don't forget to think positive and I'll catch you guys in the next one Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you want to check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you want to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. In the description box, you'll find links from my Teachers Pay Teacher store along with my PO address if you're interested. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.